Hello, everyone. I'm Monica Reinagel, and you're listening to the Nutrition Diva podcast. This week, we're going to take a closer look at a fascinating study that you might have seen something about in the news recently. It had to do with the surprising ways in which salt affects hunger and appetite. You know, most of the warnings we hear about reducing the amount of salt in our diets have to do with reducing the risks related to high blood pressure. But this new study suggests another reason that some people may want to curtail their sodium intake. Eating salty foods may make you hungrier. I've always suspected that salty foods might lead you to eat more than you otherwise would simply because they can be really tasty. For example, I'm likely to eat more salted nuts than unsalted nuts. Even though I enjoy the flavor of unsalted nuts, somehow salty nuts are just more compelling. And so instead of having a handful and feeling satisfied, as I might with unsalted almonds or cashews, I just want to keep eating salty nuts. In fact, one of the things that I often suggest for people who find it difficult to observe reasonable portion control when eating nuts is to switch over to the unsalted variety. But this recent study found something even more interesting and way more complicated. This study was done on a small group of Russian cosmonauts who were living in a simulated space capsule as training for a long mission. And over the course of the study, the researchers changed up the amount of salt in the cosmonauts' diets, ranging from a low-sodium diet of around 2,300 milligrams per day to a more typical intake of around 3,500 milligrams per day, up to a peak of 4,800 milligrams of sodium per day. Although the amount of salt in their diets varied, the calorie levels remained precisely the same. And yet, as the researchers increased the amount of salt on the food, the subjects reported being hungrier. A parallel study done by the same researchers in mice found that higher sodium diets caused the mice to eat a lot more food. The other weird thing that the researchers noticed in both the mice and the men was that as their salt intake increased, their urine output also increased despite the fact that they were drinking less water. Now, increasing urine production is one way that the body has of getting rid of extra sodium. And for the last 50 years, at least, we've been told that when people eat more salt, it makes them thirsty, and that causes them to increase their fluid intake. That extra fluid increases their urine output, which helps flush the excess sodium out of the body. That's been the story anyway, and that's sort of the logic behind that bowl of salty pretzels on the bar. It's there to make you thirsty, so you order more drinks. Well, barkeeps, you may want to reevaluate your strategy. In these studies, eating more salt didn't make the subjects thirstier. Over the long run, it made them less thirsty. And yet, despite drinking less water, they were producing more urine. So where was all that extra fluid coming from if they weren't drinking it? Well, you're not going to believe this, but it turns out that we humans have more in common with camels than you may have thought, like camels. We have the ability to produce water by breaking down our own fat and muscle tissue. And that appears to be what happens when you eat a lot of salt. Levels of glucocorticoid hormone in your body go up. And this triggers the breakdown of fat and muscle tissues. And that releases water, which helps flush the excess sodium out of your body. Now, all of this fancy metabolic activity also burns extra energy and calories, and that makes you hungry. Who knew? Now, you might have zeroed in on the fact that eating more salt causes your body to break down fat and to burn extra calories, and perhaps you're wondering why a high-sodium diet wouldn't be a good way to lose weight. And now, if a high-sodium diet causes your body to burn extra calories, why wouldn't adding salt to your diet help you lose weight? Well, for one thing, the increase in your appetite could easily lead you to consume a lot more calories than whatever extra calories your body is burning to deal with the salt. But there are some other reasons that this is a bad weight control strategy. The glucocorticoid hormones released when you eat more salt cause your body to break down muscle, 
as well as fat. And that is not the kind of weight you want to be losing. And high levels of these hormones are also linked to an increased risk of osteoporosis and type 2 diabetes. So here's the bottom line. This study has thrown everything we thought we knew about how our bodies regulate sodium and fluid into a bit of a blender. But in a way, it raises more questions than it answers. One of the things that I'd love to see researchers look at next is whether increasing your fluid intake, whether or not you feel thirsty, helps to prevent that sodium-triggered bump in hormones that causes your body to break down its own tissue. The study also produced some unexpected findings related to salt, metabolism, and appetite, but contrary to some of the headlines you may have seen, it doesn't show that eating more salt will help you lose weight. To the contrary, eating more salt may increase your appetite, and salty foods are often high in calories as well as sodium. Either way, eating too much salt could easily lead you to take in more calories than you need. If you'd like to check out this study yourself, I've included a link to it in the transcript for today's show, which is at nutritiondiva.quickanddirtytips.com, along with the entire Nutrition Diva archives. You can post your questions or comments there or on the Nutrition Diva Facebook page. I always love to hear from you. Thanks so much for listening and have a great week.